Hey everybody, Sammy here at SFI Sports Cards, back with another video. Today is August 25th, and it's VR time. And this one goes out to four collectors. Theo, Caesar, John, and James. Four great guys. Full of energy for the card community. They will be kicking off their channel, officially I guess, on Sunday. For an eight hour marathon which I can only imagine will be pure mayhem in the best way possible. But their VR is to show some cards that remind you of four channels. And to be honest, when I look at these cards that I'm going to show you, it's the first thing I think of is these channels. Um, let's start with a channel I admire. Uh, one, because he's a great guy. And he's great for our community. And I just love the format and the type of cards he shows. You're going to get a mix of graded, raw, you know, semi-modern, vintage, obviously by the name I'm going to reveal. Star players, common cards. I never know what's going to pop up when I click on his channel, which I like. So I've got this 1993... Tops Hall of Famer, Larry Walker. And uh, this card reminds me of one of the great content creators out there. And one that I still believe doesn't get enough credit. And that is Vintage Card Steve. Now, months ago, I remember him saying... That he likes to group his cards together based on what we see. You know, the, the theme that kind of that's represented on the card. And this one being the Bat Rack. And this is a great image of just that. A dugout shot. Walker looking so cool with those purple shades and I believe I owned a pair myself back in the day but this card reminds me of what Steve would show on his terrific channel and um, yeah so every time I come across a card like this showing a bat rack uh, one other one I can think of right off the top of my head is the I believe it's the 91 Ken Griffey Jr. for Stadium Club. I believe that's also a Bat Rack card. But, uh, yes, this one. First thing I think of, vintage, vintage card Steve. This, uh, you know, really a great image here. So. Next. I'm going to change things up. We're going to go to the sport of hockey. I really couldn't decide on which card uh, to show, but anytime I see my 2020-2021 Austin Matthews Metal Universe or this 21-22. John Tavares, 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 or this 21-22 Metal Universe, Mitch Marner, Planet Metal, look at this card, yeah, take this one out, but I only can think of one of the great Hockey channels out there. That is Mike Inuki over at Leaf Fan Down Under. This is a great card. Check them out and their Loose Pack Wednesday pack rips. Once in a while they'll do baseball. But what stands out about them to me is not only their passion... Of putting out content. 
but how they feel about their community. You only have to watch once to get an understanding of what they represent. Um, and I love, you know, their passion for the cards, the relationships they try to build. So, their channel is a must-see, very energetic. So check them out. And, you know, the links to these channels will be in the description. Next, we got something cool here. I don't want to block Larry out here. But next, we have an item here. And anytime I see baseball cards, memorabilia, autos, items from games uh, that has anything to do with the Washington Senators slash Minnesota Twins franchise, one channel stands out, and that is Scott over at Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Now I've got this 1937 Wheaties. This is a Series 6, I believe, of Hall of Famer Heine Manouche. Now, here, uh, this is with the Brooklyn Dodgers. But Manouche was known for his days with the Senators, mostly. One of the hardest hitting players of his era. Always seemed to be in the MVP and batting title hunt. But Scott... Has a bit of everything in his collection. He did a live a couple nights ago. And it was just amazing to see what he has been collecting for so many years. He pretty much had something to show like on demand for us that were in the chat. Amazing channel. Great guy who is so knowledgeable about the hobby. He just seems like someone you could, you know, talk to for hours and hours about uh, just cards in general and, you know, meeting up with uh, players, you know, face-to-face, -face, getting autos, that kind of thing. So check out Scott's channel. Last and certainly not least, I've got a card that... Whenever I look at it, I know exactly who it reminds me of. The man on this card has done more in a lifetime than I could even imagine. Uh, he's been an actor, a martial artist, served time in the armed forces. You know, he's on infomercials. And like the channel he represents to me, a real life superhero. And there, is there anything he can't do? I give you the 2021 Super Glow Silver Foil Chuck Norris. And this is for you, Adam, at Vintage Sanctuary. Every time I come across either this card... Of Chuck Norris or his, you know, his doppelganger, Mike Schmidt. I think of Adam. Check out Adam's channel. Wonderful man and friend. Do I really think he downplays his collection? Um, he's got some amazing cards, both vintage and, you know, cards up through the early 90s I've seen. Most of you know him, so I just want to... Agree with what the masses say, and that uh, not only that his channel is great, but um, great friend, and I hope you were fortunate enough to know him as a person. Now, this card, I think I gave Adam the gold version, but this is the silver version. I would like to get one of his cards, maybe, uh, when he was active in martial arts. I'm sure there's one out there. 
But yes, this uh, definitely reminds me of Adam. Now, hit that like button. If you think Adam should uh, go with this Chuck Norris beard facial hair, I think that uh, Adam might look pretty good with a sporting you know, the Norris cut here. Let me know what you think about that. But anyway, four great channels. And, um, you know, that's for four collectors. Hey, yo, John, Caesar, and James. Good luck on Sunday. I'll see you there. And I hope these cards represent the channels I've mentioned. But have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Take it easy.